octavo capítulo. Ahora, la Argentina se levantó de dos manos. Que... Oh, un corazón increíble, el de Carabajal. Right here in the uh, blue and silver, this is uh, Rose Volante. The um, she fighting uh, Katie Taylor next week here in uh, Philly. So I've been watching a few of her fights. She's from uh, Belgium, if, Belgium, if I'm correct. Wait a minute, is that her or is that Delphine Pursun? Yeah, she's from. No, that's Delphine Pursun. Rose is from Brazil. I'm tripping. 14 in all with uh, 8 KO. She is fighting 36 years old. The queen. This is her um, right here with the um, the black trunks on. She is a pressure fighter. And I'm wondering if she's going to be able to get inside on um, Katie Taylor. But from what I'm seeing, she's pretty nice. Right now, she is currently which was the, currently the WBO 135-pound females champion. She's going to be taking on Katie Taylor. And it's going to be... To, for the unified WBO. Wait a minute. Which belt does Delphine Pursun have? She, by the way, is fighting Saturday against uh, Melissa Sidville out of um, the Gleason's Gym in um, New York. I'm going to try to find a stream on this fight. Her right here. Very colorful woman, to say the least. <laughs> She's funny. Uh, I'm going to try to find a stream somewhere to see if I can watch this fight. But it's going to be for the WBC title, the only belt that's not going to be on the line against um, Katie Taylor, 12 and over five KOs versus uh, Rose Volante on the undercard of uh, on the undercard of uh, Tevin Farmer versus John O'Carroll. It's going to be Gabriel Rosado versus uh, Mershu Soluski, Hank Lundy versus Avery Sparrow. Um, Luke Campbell's even going to be here in the States. So I'm going to, yes, I'm going to be there. My foot is getting better. I'm going to, you know, yes, it is in Philly. I belong there. I'm going to be definitely at the media, um, um, events for fight week. I don't have any control over fight night, but I'm going to be there. All right. So from what I've been seeing, just to go back and watch some more of this. It's going to be a good fight. Rose is not going to come to, to lay down. She's coming in a box. I mean, to fight. You know? That shit was crisp right there. You see it? And it'll be only her, it'll be her first fight here in the States. First fight here in the States. Let's see. Go look at uh, Katie Taylor real quick. I've covered um, all of Katie Taylor fights except two, from my understanding. Yeah, I've covered a lot of these, majority of these. She got a movie. Is it on Amazon or is it? I believe it's on Amazon or Netflix. I think it's on Amazon. No, let me see. Katie Taylor boxer movie. Where is it at? Let me check that out before next week. Katie Taylor movie. Where is it at? On the man. I have Amazon Prime. I'm gonna buy it. Fuck it, I'll buy it. I'll, I'll give y'all. I'm gonna watch it. Oh wait, we can watch the trailer. Let's see if we can put the trailer up for y'all. Let's see if they let us do this. We should. It's a trailer. They should let us do this for boxing. We can't do the whole two minutes though. They definitely gonna copyright us. You know what's going on with her life? It's something really I've talked about. There wasn't a day where I didn't wake up thinking about the Olympics. When was boxing time? It wasn't even allowed in the country. I had to pretend to be a boy to get fights. Pete was the sort of glue that held Katie together. I like best friends to tell you the truth. Rio Olympics around the corner, and she was expected to win the gold medal again. Can't wait for Katie to win gold for Ireland. 
So only a few months out from the Olympics. The relationship between Katie and my dad started to become a bit more fractured. My dad was no longer someone who I could work with, really. The trust was broken. No, that wasn't the end of my career. Katie Taylor has signed a professional contract. Yeah, I'm gonna check this out. I'm gonna check this Still out. Still fighting to get recognition. You know, um, I make sure to always talk about the um, the rebirth of uh, women's boxing in regards to how now these women have to lead the way and making sure they make the best fights happen because now they're being broadcast on a global scale. Actually, I talked to Katie Taylor about this twice. She is the only woman female boxer, and it's crazy because she's from Ireland, that I've interviewed three times. What the hell is that? Oh, it's my alarm. I've interviewed her three times. Um, The last time was here for the press conference for this fight here in Philly. At her fight at the Barclays Center. I forgot which one. Which one was she at the Barclays Center? The Victoria um, Bustos fight. Where Danny Jacob Solusky. No, it wasn't that fight, was it? What fight was that that she was here? Jasmine Clark Clarkson. Charlo versus Highland and um, Garcia um, um, Brown. I was at that fight. I interviewed her there, and then I interviewed her at the Zone press conference for Joshua versus Pavekin. So, hoping to talk to her again next week and get her thoughts on the winner of uh, Melissa Sitville versus um, Delphine Pursuit. So, rest assured, I'm going to watch this fight because the implications are big. Because the winner is going to be expected to fight the winner of um, Rose Volante and Katie Taylor. Because Eddie Hearn has hinted that maybe Rose Volante in previous um, interviews, you know, like, you know, likes, you know, um, fighting over in Belgium and basically wants to babysit that title is what he is what he was insinuating. Why is it still playing in the background? You also have what's going to add whatever's going to happen with um, Amanda Serrano likely fighting a winner in what could be one of the biggest women's boxing fights of all time. Right now, you got Christina Hammer and uh, Clarissa Shields and Christina Hammer, Christina Hammer fighting on Showtime April the 13th. But if they can put together also over on the zone, Katie Taylor versus Amanda Serrano, you know, women's boxing is on fire, man. You know, and it's going to be more pressure on Cecilia Brockles on what she's going to do because Katie Taylor has said that. You know, um, to me personally, and I'm, I'm going to make sure I put the link to my interview with her down below in the description in the description box is that 140 is pretty much her max. I don't maybe, you know, she could touch 147 one day, but she's saying that's, you know, pretty much, you know, her max. And when it comes to Cecilia Brockles, I believe that that Christina Hammer and Clarissa Shields have also said, I know Clarissa Shields has said it, but I believe, you know, Christina Hammer, I don't know if she said it could make 154 pounds, but was to say your Brock who's one to move to 154. You know, there's a lot of big fights that can be made in uh, women's boxing, you know? Anyway, then not to mention, you got a uh, Maya Villa Hamaduchi out there. Tissue controversy. This is Tissue controversy live. Katie Taylor versus um, Rose Volante is going to be on the Zone March the fifteenth. That's a Friday, correct? What is that? March the fifteenth. Oh, I got a calendar. Duh. March fifteenth is on. Damn it. Where is it at? Yeah, next Friday. St. Patty's Day weekend, and there's also um, um, Spence Garcia fight week. So this is a good build-up card into a big fight week for the zone. I mean, a build-up card into a big overall fight week, you know, especially for a Friday night card. They did real good with that on St. Patty's Day. And then on Sunday, Top Ring has their card headlined by Mick Conlon. Um, I'm Teacher Controversy. This is Teacher Controversy Live. Please subscribe.